And tonight, thieves caught on camera clearing out a brand new sneaker shop in Rice Military. And the two veterans who opened the business together are learning a tough lesson about alarm systems in Houston. They are sharing their story with Devon Rahming tonight. Devon, unfortunate because they were set to have a grand opening tomorrow. Yeah, Lynn and Mia, it's very unfortunate. The owners tell me that the thieves hit their shop twice in one night, leaving them with more questions than answers when it comes to how Houston police respond to public safety needs. For Jamaica Taylor Knight and Larry Rohelia, their lifelong friendship centers around two things, their service to this country and entrepreneurship. Our first conversation was about basketball and sneakers. But those business dreams were shattered early Thursday morning. Me personally, like I'm still kind of in disbelief a little bit. As surveillance video captured the moments burglars ransacked their brand new store, Rich Soul Sneaker Shop, days before it was set to open just off Washington. Roughly $20,000 worth of merchandise from shirts to designer shoes, gone in a matter of minutes. Some sneakers, they range in price. Um, some could be, you know, a normal uh, $150, $200, and some range up to, to $500, $600. So. Just coming, walking back in here and seeing these shelves empty right now, it's, it's just a, a immediate reminder of like the hard work we put in just left within, as you said, a few minutes. With cameras catching every move and an ADT alarm system set. I would have never thought this would have been me. Um, I thought I had the right security in place to avoid these type of things. To their surprise, Houston police never showed up. In a statement, the city says burglar alarm permits are required for both residential and non-residential alarm sites due to the city's 96% false alarm rate. The city's current policy is to not respond to non-permitted burglar alarm calls to better use HPD resources. We're not going to let some foolishness like this stop us from what we're doing. We have our goals set. Uh, we're going to do what we have to do to get back open, and, and that's just what it's going to be. But that's not going to be the last of us at all. So, Devon, did anybody tell them about the permit when they opened the business and signed the alarm contract? Well, Lynn, that's a great question. The owners tell me that they did not know anything about this permit. They actually just moved here from Arizona to open this shop. But the city tells us that alarm companies have a clause in their alarm system contract that tells them about the permit and what's needed to secure their buildings. It's also important to note that this permit applies to home residential places as well. Live in Houston, Devon Rahming, KHOU 11 News.